So some of you may not, know, may not have known exactly what fermentation is, but I wanted to do a comparison to quick tip. Essentially, the differences are the preserving liquid, the fermentation, we start off with the brine, which is essentially just a salt water solution. With, uh, with quick pickling, you, start, you already create the, the, the acid, which is the vinegar. So brine will become lactic acid as it ferments. You probably heard a lot about the buzzwords about probiotic today, uh, these days. Fermentation off of that through the use, you're actually uh, you're encouraging these good critters to uh, form, and then when you get the fruit, you're consuming those and they're added to your gut flora and the good bacteria. With uh, vinegar based quick pickling, it's dead, it's, it's sterile. So there's nothing new. But the studies that, that I've read about do talk about how fermenting uh, critters add nutrients to the food. They can add enzymes, some vitamins, and essentially, again, the probiotic uh, aspects of they're donating themselves when you eat them. Um, so there are yeah, nutrients, again, quick pickling, not, not so much. Uh, the speed, of course, is the key difference. Fermentations can be slow depending on what it is you're, what you're fermenting. And, of course, the last thing, which is kind of why I got into this whole thing, is, is the flavor. The, the flavor of a lot of man foods. It's, I compare it to like, uh, you know, like a like a Mad Dog 2020 or Two Buck Chuck, it's like a 40 year old or a Bordeaux in terms of its complexity. Like you're just getting a lot more. There's a lot more processes biological that are going on to add to enhance the food and add flavors. Whereas I think, I mean, I mean, I'm not disparaging quick pickles. You can add whatever spices you want, but I think the, the flavor is pretty flat. It's pretty flat.